Rexauto.com. The high-altitude airship that took off from Northeast Ohio early this morning has crashed. Fox 8's Dave Nethers is in the newsroom with the details. He's been following this one for us, Dave. I've been making phone calls to the state police and different sheriff's offices and Lockheed Martin. Uh, their new high-altitude airship, the Hale D, made its initial launch this morning from Akron, but the $150 million prototype didn't get far before it went down in a wooded area of Pennsylvania. Take a look at this video. This is the scene right now in Greene County, Pennsylvania. You can see the solar-powered unmanned blimp draped across the tops of trees where it went down. The Hale D has a high-altitude blimp that has, was built in Akron. It's a project involving a Lockheed Martin in the U.S. Army. It was expected to stay at altitudes above 60,000 feet for an extended period, but it came down less than three hours after it launched this morning. These photos uh, that you're about to see were taken as the Hale D was launched at sunrise this morning, about 5.47 a.m. from the Akron Air Dock. Lockheed Martin saying there was a problem that prevented it from getting to its target altitude, and so a decision was made to end the flight and make a controlled descent into a non-populated area. Now, there's a report that the intention was to try and bring it down on military property in Harrison County, Pennsylvania, but it didn't make it there. have been trying to reach the Harrison County Sheriff, uh, but they have not been able to. The blimp is unmanned. There are no reports of injuries on the ground, and so that is a... That is Agents and fully armed local police teamed up for a major raid in Venice, California, but it wasn't drugs they were looking for. What they proceeded to do was take about 800 gallons of raw milk and pour it down the kitchen sink. This week's raid is the latest battle between Ross and Foods, an organic food co-op, and health officials. The Food and Drug Administration says that they are protecting people from the health risk of drinking unpasteurized milk. But members of Rossum sign a waiver saying they'll take that risk. Raw milk doesn't have lactose intolerance, it doesn't have allergies, where pasteurized milk has lots of lactose intolerance and lots of allergies. Despite that, the operator, James Stewart, and two others were arrested and are facing several charges, including conspiracy and processing milk without pasteurization. This extensive search warrant shows that investigators have been keeping a very close eye on Rossum for the past year. It's an investigation which has taken up many man hours and plenty of U.S. tax dollars. As citizens, we all should rise up. People protesting the crackdown are outraged at what they see as government going overboard. We pretend like we're fighting for our freedom, uh, you know, overseas, and we're losing our freedom here for simple, simple things like let's just grow our own food. Last year, Rossum was also raided. This video of officers with guns drawn drew nationwide outrage. Mark McAfee, a raw milk dairy farmer, is angry that the industry is being pursued so aggressively and points to the influence that large corporations have on government regulators. It's not dangerous to the public. It is dangerous to the agricultural interests interest that want to capture all the milk and not have anybody drinking uh, anything other than pasteurized milk. The raid comes just as one of the largest food producers in America, Cargill, is recalling millions of pounds of meat, which may be causing people to get sick. And that's linked to one death in California. So far, no reported illnesses from the food at Rossum. Today, the only thing that supporters of the raw food movement are sick of is people telling them what they can or cannot put in their mouth. If we sit back and do nothing, then we're basically saying, go ahead and take our rights, decide what we get to put in our bodies. Go ahead and decide. Like, I'm not going to let somebody else arbitrarily decide. And so, Paul, 
and many others here say they will continue fighting for their right to plant, eat, or share what they want. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, August 5th, 2011, and I'm Darko. This is part three, the final part for today. Uh, my website is ggnonline.com, that's www.ggnonline.com, and ddarko2012 is my YouTube channel. Go in there and check that out. All the headlines and links are posted. I have a lot of news to get to, so I'm just going to kind of get right into it. Um, Pentagon seeks a few good social networkers, and it says the Pentagon is developing a plan to use social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter, both created by and funded by what? The CIA. <laughs> So, and, uh, you know, basically for the NSA, and it says, as both a resource and a weapon in future conflicts against people who want to be free, it said here, its research and development agency is offering $40 million that was stolen at gunpoint from U.S. taxpayers and funding to anyone who can help. So we know where this crap is going to, right? When you had DARPA uh, uh, basically running a... a what was it, an event with balloons that were, uh, you know, had GPS on them, and then they had people running around in the city using their iPhones and smartphones that were created just for that specific reason uh, to uh, spot the red balloons in the, throughout the city. And uh, uh, guess who uh, actually won? Oh, it was MIT because that's the one who was, that's the group that was supposed to win, MIT. And... Um, so this is what it's all going to be used for. Um, it's just uh, infrastructure used to help enslave you even further. And Google acquires facial biometric company. And uh, moving on here, face recognition software may reveal one social security number. Researchers demonstrate ability to predict social security numbers from people's faces. So when we share tagged photos of ourselves online, it becomes possible for others to link our faces to our names in situations we would normally expect anonymity. Moving on here to... Uh, facial recognition as soon as it comes up a face launches 1000 apps it was saying that ooh, um, uh, facial uh, recognition biometric uh, technology is gaining steam and it's becoming more popular and uh, it says here that uh, along the realm of science fiction right they always use that uh, that word to imply that it's not real and uh, and hide their propaganda and their programming uh, into movies and quote entertainment uh, while well, you have your guard down, it says here advanced technologies that identify faces now are emerging as the hottest entertainment gimmick despite the potential for privacy concerns. Police to carry out on the spot fingerprinting uh, in the street even for minor traffic offenses. The device can search 8.5 million prints on national databases and forces and says fingerprints will not be retained just like the... Um, uh, just like the body scanners, and of course, they said something out of George Orwell's dystopia. No, he was uh, he was warning. He he was a socialist, and he was warning. He was a writer. Uh, he went with the groups and the meetings uh, back in the day, and he knew what the agenda of the elites was or, or were. And so he was basically warning people. So it's not fucking science fiction. This is reality. And if you believe that, you need to pull your head out of your ass because it's not a joke anymore. They're coming down hard, man, every day says in fingerprint uh, breakthrough offers new forensic evidence technology to extract fingerprints from a crime scene could show if a criminal suspect hmm, has taken drugs or been in contact with explosives next up we have third of adults use smartphones says uh, Ofcom reports and doesn't make them that smart because they're being tracked and it says here Britain's addicted to their crackberry says study when many Britons are welded to their smartphones 24 hours a day and refuse to turn them off in cinemas and theaters according to a study Thursday showing that the devices are changing social behavior which is exactly what they were intended to do be extensions of themselves until eventually they have microchips implanted in their wrist and in their forehead ACLU seeking data about use by police and cell phone uh, to track people. I heard this. The ACLU of Connecticut has asked for data from six municipalities and the state police as part of a national effort to determine how often local enforcement agencies use uh, cell phones to track people. And uh, so, you know, we were talking about this, what uh, people that are, uh, uh, cover the news or whatnot and alternative news. We've been talking about this, about cell phones being used to track people and their G little GPSs. And people say, oh, no, that's not true. But now, okay, now now the media is telling you. That's your authorized uh, um, group that, you know, informs you, that educates you, that brainwashes you. And so, you know, they said, hey, they're GPSing you. So it is real. It's not science fiction. It does exist. 
So license to grill, uh, it says here down here, it's no longer an invasive pat down out TSA. Agents will have a few probing questions for you in a bid to ramp up security. TSA is enhancing its controversial screening passengers by observation techniques or spot to include an Israeli style interview with travelers in addition to existing measures. And this is all based off what government sponsored terrorism in order to crack down on patriots, anarchists, and anyone that's pissed off at the government taking away their privileges or liberties. Sorry. TSA staff at LAX undergoing transgender training. So managers uh, at the TSA and airports are undergoing mandatory sensitivity training after a transgender employee alleged she was ordered to dress like a man, pat down male uh, passengers, and use the men's restroom. Next up, we have TSA apologizes for con confiscating pregnant women's insulin and her ice packs and then next up, we have solar flares may impact communications this weekend. And uh, that means that there's going to be a big HARP uh, project going on. And I'll get to more of that later. But uh, there's no connection between solar flares and increase in, uh, in the temperature. None whatsoever. It's climate change. It says here, state actor behind a slew of cyber attacks. It says security experts have discovered an unprecedented series of cyber attacks and networks of 72 organizations globally, including United Nations governments and corporations over a five a year. And we have six creepy new weapons the police and military use to subdue unarmed sheeple or slaves. And uh, moving on here, we have the first one eventually. The invisible pain ray, the holy grail of crowd control, sounds like a weapon out of Star Wars. And it works like an open-air microwave oven projecting a focused beam of electromagnetic radiation to heat the skin of its targets at 130 degrees. Um, next up, we have the laser blinding dazzler and look at that sucker i reported on that uh, recently the taser on steroids with the albuquerque police department now has taser shotguns to keep their slaves in order calmative agents for riot control sedative sleep inducing or similar psychoactive effects because they care about you they give so much uh, uh, about you that they're willing to do this to you. Screaming microwaves that pierce the skull. And that's why they uh, try to take raw milk from you because they care about you. Somali troops open fire on refugees seeking food. Again, political cannon fodder. That's what they are. UNICEF says needs uh, $315 million uh, to help children in Horn of Africa. So there you go. Then we have U.S. 29,000 uh, Somali children under five are dead in famine. So it's eugenics. Do you think they give a shit? No, they don't. They're you, they're you then. The UNICEF, their job is killing people and social engineering. So it's a, it's a progress. It's a success. In Kenya, 14 starved to death. Then Uganda, too many deaths and childbirth. Of course, that's the plan. CIA to UNICEF, Big 8 has very dirty secret from CIA to UNICEF, the charge that every person who is headed a uh, major Western aid agency has an intelligence background has been proven time and time again. Then we have the CIA secret sites in Somalia, and then Sudan threatens to shoot a UN helicopter in Abai, I believe that is, and then Somalia, UNHCR helps relocate refugees to new camp in eastern uh, Ethiopia. China says committed to further enhancing relations with Ethiopia. China relaxes birth restrictions for victim families of mudslide hit countries. So they got to adjust the population numbers. So they're going to let them have some babies. Oh, they're so lucky, aren't they? The state let them have babies. Chinese parents of faulty vaccine victims suppressed. And they're talking about the BCG vaccine. And Vancouver to hand out clean, unused crack pipes. Boris calls for plastic ban bag across London. Fight against poisonous waste. Eco, uh, Waste Coalition finds mercury in skin whitening products, pushes crackdown on dangerous cosmetics. That's uh, what I believe the Indians use. Child car seats contain toxic chemicals. Of course, eugenics attack the children. Monsanto to sell biotech sweet corn for U.S. consumers. It says here, New Zealand bans synthetic cannabis products. And Kenya Prime Minister insists no GM foods have reached the country. Uh, scores displaced in Guinea land grab row. Then China used part of the land grab uh, revenues to boost education. Uh, indoctrination and brainwashing. So they stole their land and to sell it off to corporations and they're going to use it to brainwashing them to accept it even uh, more in the future. Arctic tipping point may not be We're talking about the uh, disappearance of Arctic sea ice may be displaced in the ice to close Chicago climate futures exchange because nobody believes in it.
Young gay men have more than 25% of new HIV cases, study says in cable network ABC. Family gets excellent rating from LGBT group. Then now it's forever a couple who were aged just 13 and 15 when they had their first child uh, marry a decade after being told it wouldn't last. Fifth of girl binge drinkers have sex. They regret as experts warn of generation of prom- promiscuous teenagers. That's by plan. Then 10-year-old Vogue model's mother shuts down Facebook site in response to fans. This is GGN and I'm Darko. Thank you.